Hey everyone, so today on this Make It Monday, we will be making a graduation gift bag. And let me get the supplies and show you what you need. All right, so the paper that I use for this project is from jbdpopcornco.com. And I gotta tell you, this paper is really, really awesome. Um, I use, they have different types of paper, but for this one, I used a glossed up cardstock as well as the glitter cardstock. Um, let me tell you. Okay, let me show you. So I printed out this and look how vibrant the colors came out and how well the print came out on this paper. I really love this. I am not going to use any other paper after seeing how this printed out. This is my first time using it, but I am really impressed even with the first print. Okay, so besides the cardstock, oh, well, let me tell you what size it is. Both of these are eight by eight, okay? And I just printed it out on my regular inkjet printer. I have a 7720 that I use for regular ink. And this part is the stole piece of our graduation gift bag and I use this is what I printed out on the glitter cardstock I don't know if it's going to focus but you get the point okay and then I cut out um, this template that we're going to score using our scoring board we need double-sided tape or hot glue gun for this tutorial, I'm going to use my double-sided tape. Hot glue gun would probably hold it better, make it a little more sturdier. Um, you need your scissors and your um, bone folder. Okay, so what we're going to do, first things first, we're going to score our gown. And you want to score right here on each side all the way down so you just line it up on your scoreboard and where it starts at that's where you score your line at and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side of the top area so now we have those two score marks okay now from that score mark we want to do a half an inch over so from here to here half inch over score another oops, score another line and repeat the same thing on the other side half an inch all right easy enough okay so the first two lines that we did you want to fold those you want to fold this side backwards on each side on the first score line. The second score line, you want to fold this up. And you use your bone folder just to get that crease even better, even crisp, more crisp. Um, fold it up. All right, so now you have this, that shape. Okay, and that's gonna be for the top part of our bag. I'm going to take my double-sided tape and I'm just going to put it right here on that half mark just so we can tape that, oop, tape it down to this close to the sleeve part and do it on the other side. And just press down. All right, so now we have this. All right, onto our bag. And we, yep, we still need our scoring board. All right, so we're gonna put our paper down and we are actually going to score um, three sides at two inches and the last side at one inch. One thing that I did forget to mention is that whatever part that you want to be the top side of your bag, if you have a pattern on it, the top side of your bag, you want that to be that one inch that's where you do the one inch mark. So I'm going to take the top part of my bag and I am going to 
rotate it and score at one. Okay, so the other three sides, we will go ahead and score at two inches. Now it's up to you whether you want to print the front and the back. I just decided to print the back because the front is most likely going to be covered up by the graduation gown. Um, so you just repeat the same process on this one, on this eight by eight. One inch, two inch, two inch, and the last side is two inches. Okay. Now, I think we are done with this. So we can put that to the side. And now let's go ahead and fold over our lines, our score lines on all four sides. The bone folder is just basically there to help you get a more crisp edge a crisp um, fold. All right, so we've done that. Now we just need to do it on this paper, the um, printed side. Be careful on your um, design so you don't uh, scratch off your, did I do this side? Wrong paper. My bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, be careful not to um, scratch off your ink on your paper. So, for this one, you can actually just use your finger just to press it down instead of using the bone folder. All right. So, we have all of our sides folded and scissors. We're going to take our scissors. Now, hopefully my camera will focus. Hold on. Trying to get you to see these lines in here. Okay, so I hope you can see this line here, which is the one inside. Now, on the two inside on the bottom, down here, we're going to cut out that square. Huh. All right, yeah, we're gonna cut out this square and we're gonna cut out this square. So let me show you. And that's it for the printed side. So now it looks like this. And for this one at the bottom, not the one inch side that we had at the top, but the bottom where it's two inches, we just want to put a slit right here and a slit right here on the two sides. So that's one slit leaving that flap and rotate it on the other side now you have two flaps all right here's where your double-sided tape or hot glue comes into play at put our trash on one side and since i um this has the image on the bottom i'm going to place this part underneath this part of the bag and you just want to line it up so that it's even all right and just put your own double-sided tape on i just do it on the four sides all right so let's line it up 
try to line it up as even as possible and press down okay so we have that and now we're going to fold in our flaps and put double-sided tape on the sides of those all the four edges of those and then we're going to bring actually let's fold in this I'm going to fold in this side here the top part that we did one inch let's put um, double-sided tape on each end of that and just fold it down so that can be out of our way double-sided tape and maybe I'll put some in the middle So we have our flaps folded in and now this right here these two flaps we want to bring in this back side and lift it up can you see it line it up with that corner and just bring it around make sure it's flush with the inside of that side and do the same thing for this side Make sure it's flushed and press down. All right, so we have the back side done, and now we're going to put tape on the edge of that. I'm trying to see if I want to put two. Yeah, I'm going to put tape here on the edge and tape right here on that line. Fold it up, line it up with your crease, and fold it over. Now if you can't reach in the inside, just take, I have a longer bone folder and I just went in the inside and smoothed it down. Do the same thing for your other side. Make sure it's lined up with that crease there. not going to be perfect. All right, put it down. Let it make sure that here is good. And now we have the back of our bag all done. That's the sides. And so this is going to be the front. Now you want to take your gown, graduation gown. I also cut a square piece of uh, or a rectangle so I can put it underneath. And that's kind of like to make it seem as a skin color. And I may need to make this template just a little bit bigger so it can cover up all the white space on the front. But I can do that later. But you get the idea. So um, let's go ahead and tape down this part here. And just eyeball it and center it in the middle. And where's our stole, graduation stole? We're going to put double-sided tape on the back. And we're going to place our stoles on right here. We're going to line it up right here with the top. Just place it down. Now, should I keep it straight or should I do like an angle? Just to add a little flair to it. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it straight. I need to. All right, so it's on there. <laughs> That's good enough. OCD. All right. 
Now we want to just put this pretty much like this on the front. And let's put our um, tape on. I'm trying to see where I want to tape that. Not the arms, but like go straight down. Don't take the arm part, just tape within the arms. And as you do it, you'll see where it seems best to place your tape. I'm just going to place this at the top, even it out. And there you have the front part of your bag. I think I want to make this bigger. I don't like that white showing. But we have the back, front, side. And we're going to add our handles on there. So let me get my ribbon, which I did not get the first time. Okay, I have my straps. And I'm just using the... Uh, handles from off of a Dollar Tree bag that I used for something else so I basically cut a hole in it and the handles were still left on there so I knew I could save it for something else so I'm just gonna take these off to reuse them this one and I have my hole puncher so I can punch some holes in it. Um, now this I did not measure. So I'm just going to place it where I think I want it to go. I'm going to just center it within that space and on this side. Um, how close? Well, maybe right here. Hope is even. So your bag is kind of is pretty much sturdy because it was kind of hard to um, punch a hole in it. Now I gotta see where I want my other holes at. Uh, about a half inch over. It'll be fine. It's fine. For this one anyway. All right, let's put our handles in and I will probably use a smaller size hole punch because that hole is pretty big but that's fine use what you have so now we have our bag with our handles on it and I even got a tassel let's put this tassel on there for decoration there and to add a little more dimension to this bag let's fold it in the middle crease it in the middle and bring it in do the same thing on the other side fold it and crease it in the middle close it again and bend it so now we have this look for our graduation bag. Now, if you can think of anything that I can add to it or take away from it, let me know. But this is what we have for today. All right, as always, any questions, just post it in the comments below and I will try to answer it to the best of my abilities. All right, bye.